Back in the mid-90s, while the nation was focused on whether O.J. Simpson was responsible for taking the lives of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, there were four people with a particular interest in the outcome of the case, his children. Here's what they'd been doing in the year since their father's so-called trial of the century. Of all of O.J. Simpson's children, Arnell Simpson has been one of the most outspoken supporters of their father. She appeared on behalf of her siblings at O.J.'s 2017 parole hearing, testifying to the Nevada State Parole Board, "...we want him to come home so that we can move forward for us quietly, but to move forward. As a family, we recognize he's not the perfect man, but as a man and a father, he has done his best." We want him to come home, and I know in my heart that he is very humbled. Four years earlier, Arnell wrote a letter to the same parole board, at the request of O.J., who had reportedly asked that she not be present in court in order to keep the media spotlight away from her siblings. According to the Daily Mail, Arnell also testified in a 2013 hearing when O.J. requested a new trial for the 2008 armed robbery conviction that landed him in prison. Arnell has been dodging the press and trying to rebuild her life for years, but holding down a job seems to have been a real challenge. According to Georgia Newsday in 2014, the only role that she's held for a prolonged period is caretaker. She was forced to step up and help raise her two half-siblings when their mother was tragically taken from them. When O.J. was released in 2017 after nine years behind bars, his bank balance apparently wasn't looking too healthy, and Arnell was reportedly to blame. She confirmed to Georgia Newsday that she'd been left in charge of his finances during his incarceration. According to her, the money went to O.J.'s legal costs. But according to a family source who spoke to the National Enquirer, Arnell had a habit of spending her dad's cash on shopping sprees and booze. According to the insider, O.J. often lost his temper with his daughter over her alcohol consumption, which has apparently become a problem in recent years. Things have reportedly been getting better between the pair since O.J.'s release from prison. In 2019, the Associated Press revealed that Arnell now lives with her dad in Vegas a lot of the time. According to ABC News, Arnell stated that the original idea for O.J.'s wildly controversial book, If I Did It, Confessions of the Killer, in which he wrote an imagined scenario about the 1994 murders, actually came from a friend of hers. After filing for bankruptcy, Arnell's company lost the rights to the book to Fred Goldman, Ron's father, who successfully argued that any profits from the book should go towards the largely unpaid $19 million civil settlement awarded to the Goldmans in 1997. After much legal wrangling, the book was finally published by the Goldman family in 2007. According to the Los Angeles Times, Within a month of its publication, it had already sold more than 100,000 copies and made its way onto bestseller lists. After leaving military school, O.J.'s oldest son, Jason Simpson, reportedly turned to drugs and alcohol, according to New York Magazine. Despite some apparent demons, Jason managed to carve out a career as a chef. As of 2017, he was working in an Atlanta restaurant. Young Sidney Simpson reportedly had a tight bond with her father throughout his 1995 trial, perhaps unaware of what was going on in the outside world. Sadly, that bubble would soon burst. One of O.J.'s friends told Radar Online that Sidney became, quote, a very tough and angry girl, who got in a lot of trouble as she got older. At one point, she apparently started to believe that her father was guilty of the murders, but an ex-boyfriend confirmed to Radar Online in 2014 that she no longer feels that way. More recently, Sydney has gone out of her way to avoid the press, even changing her name. According to the Tampa Bay Times, she's made a number of smart property investments in Florida under the name of her own company, Simpsy LLC. Justin Simpson was only five years old when he lost his mother. Eight years after Nicole's death, Justin told the Miami Herald that he thinks about the tragedy from time to time, but he doesn't dwell on it. He found a fresh start in Florida, landing a job as a realtor in St. Petersburg. In 2016, he told the Tampa Bay Times that the real estate game kept him pretty busy, but it appears as though he's still got time for his old man. He spent Thanksgiving 2018 with O.J. Still, it's safe to assume the family doesn't speak much about the past when they're together. O.J. told the Associated Press in 2019, "...we don't need to go back and relive the worst day of our lives. My family and I have moved on to what we call the no-negative zone. We focus on the positives." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.